Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I'm back on here today to do a, finish this thing I was showing you yesterday. We're making a gumnut thingy flare. But, well, it's a pretty one anyway, it's a gumnut. I haven't got a chance to do any more on it, so I'm going to just um, do that for you now. I want to do another row of these. Um, Fluffy stitches, turkey work we're doing, and then a piece of slow stitching. So Jeremy's mowing, Ellie's gone to have breakfast with one of her school friends. <coughs> Can honestly say so I don't think I've ever been out for breakfast in my life. I'm not going to worry about wrapping it around the pencil today because I'm just going to wing it, okay. <laughs> not just not pull down too far because I mean, I've already got some there that I can see how long it is I'll take it back out because I did take it in further than I was going to but only because that other piece of thread was caught up in it come on you can do this now so un undo right <clears throat> Now do a new stitch. Oh no. Whoa, I mean, I've got it all caught under there. Oh, this doesn't impress me at all. That one there might have to be pulled out through. Pull it up, I should say. I'm not going to take it out at all. This one's caught down there, there, we'll get him out of there. Don't know if that one is. Anyway, so, we did a stitch and now I'm just going to do a loopy bun, a loopy bit. Because I don't want to put too many more, I don't think. I'll be able to fluff it up a bit if I don't do that. And then we're going to do a stitch over the top of that. Okay. I think that might be enough, don't you? And then I'm going to take it through to the back. All right. And you can see that they're not all the same length, and that's okay because they're going to have to be cut back anyway a bit. Going to have to be cut back a bit anyway. Now. want to snip them. I know. I'm going to cut them back in a minute because I'm going to do this part here now. I'm, I'm not going to make it too high but you can put it up as high as you want it to be. Um, and the pieces I'll put over this will be this colour I think. I know it won't be that bright and ex ex outstanding but I want to keep the colours down a bit if I can. You know like do them too, too over the top. Cut that piece there. Right -o. Yeah, I hope you're all having a good crafting weekend or just having f family and friends about and doing stuff for Easter. Everybody's staying safe and I'm trying to think while I'm doing this how I'm going to actually do this. There's different ways you can go about doing this so I'm trying to work out in my head as I'm doing this how I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, there's a, um, a couple more ways that I can do this and I'm going to show you at least one more anyway because, and it might be, I could be a little bit easier but I don't think so. See, this is teaching the turkey work. And for the, um, underneath, for the top part, I'm going to get a mouthful of water, sorry. So what I'm thinking, if we turn it back this way, and we just put some little stab stitches. Now I've, read, I've 
I've threaded up with three pieces of um, cotton, embroidery cotton. You can use whatever you want to. I probably should have, now that I've started this, should have thought that maybe it would be better to have a bit of um, crochet thread because it will make it a little bit thicker. Okay. And maybe the area will be easier to cover. I'm just going to do some little stab stitches around here. I don't think I'll put anything down there. Okay, I'm just going to leave that up like this piece here open. All right. Now I have I need to do a few videos today, so I'll get a chance. Um, so that's there now. It does look like does look like a jellyfish. Really, really does look like a jellyfish, doesn't it? Um, I'll have to get this book here and see what... I know I could do a, a needle weaving stitch across there, I suppose. I could. All I've got to do is see, see something that... came in here and didn't get too organised because I have to I want to get this done while Ellie's away this morning and so therefore I've not even got myself really sorted out have I? I know I think I'll have a just I'll just sew. Let's just sew. <laughs> just sew. Okay, right, we'll just sew. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna go from this part here top across there. Do I want to do that? Or will I do it that way? Uh, yes, okay. Right, now, now, so I'm going to do this. Right. So I've come up there and I'm going to go down this side. Okay, but I'm not going through I'm not going through the, the thing itself, alright? Uh, the, the thing being the piece of Felt. I'm going to go through that. Right -o. Now I'm going to come up the other side again, and I hope this this is going to cover it properly. I think it will. And then we're going to do some with the back of the needle. We're just going to do a bit of this, a bit of this here. Okay. We got one stitch. We're just doing like a blanket stitch. Okay. I'm going to have to come back and fix the top down before I go any further. But I want to do the first row here first. Now I'm not making them level and I should be. I should be making these level. I'm pulling them up the same at the same um, tension. I need that to be the same tension. Okay. So just going across here like this. You little feathery things get up there. That's the way. You go like that. Get out of the road. You've got to be patient because if that keeps happening to you, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's okay. Nobody panic. I'm going right into there and then I'm going to go down into the back of the piece of work. Righto. Not into the, f not into the felt. Righto. Now. To fasten that down, I'm going to have to come up under here, which I wasn't going to, but I'm, that was only because I had a different idea in mind. So I'm going to put that down. I don't know what hubby's going to tell me. <laughs> I think it's, it's okay. I think it can wait. <laughs> I'm going to catch this under there with that stitch and pull it back up. I 
Ah, boy, this is all hooked under there. Come on, get out of that. Why is it all hooked under there? I never sewed for about three days. It was very not good. So I'm going to just catch the little piece of felt in the, in the top of this cotton here so I can just... I know you'd think you'd, you know, you'd do something about that, wouldn't you? But maybe you could just do that bit last if you haven't done yours yet. Maybe just do that piece last. <clears throat> so I won't keep getting caught. I think there's a few things had gone on in the neighbourhood today. There was a man at the next door neighbours and he was knocking on the door and she's home but she wasn't gonna and she didn't answer it. So he's parked the car down the road and he's sitting down there. Only the reason being because Jeremy went out there the moment he came back and told me that he, he didn't go away just out the front somewhere. So he must be waiting to find the lady. Now that's gonna be caught through there, I don't think I'll can't I get that out of there, Sonia? Sorry, but Sorry, people. I mean, I'm mucking around on this. It's not. Did it come out yet? No, it's still sitting there. I need to hold on to that. Keep it all down in there. So I'm going to come back up through here again, and I'm going to catch on a bit more. And do it another time. Just catch that. Go in between your stitches a bit. Okay, eh, come on. <laughs> eh, and another time. Have I got it? Have I got it? Right, oh. Now, see, that looks good. Now, I'm going to go down into the side bit here. Maybe I'll do another little, I might do another little stitch because I don't want it to be pulled down too tight onto it. I want it to look be built up a bit, I was going really well, wasn't I? <laughs> I caught all that again. Okay, so there we put that down in there, right next to it, okay? <clears throat> now that looks cool. I do like that. Is there any stuck through it? No, it might be. I don't know, I'm imagining things. So now come up under the underneath that that stitch we went through and we're going to do another row. Uh, let's see if we can hold this down so it doesn't Oh, it'll be right, won't it? <laughs> no, it won't. And we're going to go into the first stitch. So it's round on the side a bit here, this first stitch. So we want to come down there around the side, okay? And then the next one, around there. And the next one. You're just going into the bottom loop those stitches that you put there in the first place okay we're just going into the bottom the bottom loop of it in here look see like so oops I'll try and keep my thread down here now I thought I put in the other one I put different colours but I haven't I haven't in this one I put two two or three different colours in the in there but you can't even tell, tell can you so we're gonna go in there that down and there that down and the back of there <coughs> go back behind it Now I'm going to come up this other side. I'm going to start from this way. I'm coming up behind the, the back of it. And we're going to do more. We're going to have to do less as we get along because we want it to taper down, don't we? So sometimes you want to do just go into the, not the next one, but the one after it. So in the second one, so it'll taper in. I might have to do that now, I think, because it's getting too... So I'll come over here further, I'll go past one, hang on that one, 
do one more because I don't want to make it holy. If you don't put enough in there, it will get holy. Go down through the back. Much cotton there. So this one, this time when I come up under here, I'm not going to do the first stitch. I'm going to go into the next one. So this will have a bit of a shape to it, I hope. So we'll go under there. I oh, hope that's not too far. Maybe this one first, and then the second one. We'll miss it. Okay. And there. When you when you pull it up, don't pull it too tight, but just you know, put a little bit of pressure on it. Pull it over a bit, so it'll all go together. Try and keep your piece of felt the same colour as your thread. I mean, on mine's a bit different, but not. Not so much, you know, it is a bit, oh, excuse me, <laughs> um, I don't know what that was, it was a hiccup or what. Um, so you want to keep it so it's a little bit, um, I'm going to just go straight across this now. Because you can see through it, when your little stitches get wider apart, you can see through it, and you don't want to have... Um, Unless you do want to have the colour different, that's the thing. You might want to have the colour different. Okay, get down in the back. Go over here again. So you should be able to see that there's a pattern in that. I'll show you in a minute. You see the little stitches in there? Right. I'm running out of thread really fast here. I should probably get another piece, but it won't be a minute. We might, we might make it. You never know. You never know if we might make it. Okay. So we're down to only doing about three, three loops or something. Three. I'm going to do this. I'm, it's going to make it because I'm going to <laughs> be really um, determined. I'm going to put this in here. This is going to work for me because I'm going to thread it back through if I have to. Keep threading the needle if I have to. So I use every, every scrap of cotton. And that doesn't look too bad, does it? That doesn't look too shabby. I might put it back through in the back. Now, <clears throat> if you want to make yours, you know, a bit more real realistic looking, you could put some lighter, <laughs> dark and light. I tried to say that both words at the same time then. That's not good. Okay, so that's that bit. He's a little tiny bit skew with, but you know what, he's not actually perfect, and that's okay because he doesn't have to be. He doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm going to cut this. Um, I'm going to do his hair. I'm going to cut some of this off here. This is a, I reckon this is a fun bit. But don't get too carried away because you don't want to lose all his fluff. Do you? <coughs> <coughs> dear, oh dear. Excuse me. I do have issues with my throat sometimes. I remember years ago, I used to always go up the street on the bus. I think it was, uh, I don't know if I'd both our daughters, but oh yeah, well, early was born, that's right, we used to always go on the bus. And this day, I was coming home, and I started coughing, and there was no way I could, I could hardly... You know, ever since then, I always, always, always have carried a drink of water with me all the time now. I don't know, it's just a thing, I don't know. It's always it's been like that for years. I've always had a really 
raspy voice of a morning anyway, I reckon. Okay. And we're gonna we just we just sort of dig in it and you can put it onto something. Are you on something like a solid thingy? What have I got a piece of card or something to put it onto? Make it make it work. Where's something? Isn't that amazing? You know, there's a room full of stuff here and I can't find a piece of card put under that. It's gotta be the right thing, doesn't it? <laughs> piece of paper. Piece of paper. Oh. And then you just go like this, okay? And your needle will just sort of dig between the little tiny threads and make it a bit fluffy, okay? I used to always put it on my thumbnail and do it. It does sometimes pull some of the fluff off it. So don't panic, it's okay. I think you'll see the difference in a minute when I finish. <coughs> this pair of scissors. Just a little cut there, and a snip there. Okay, dokie. Definitely looks like you need something else, doesn't he? I don't know what yet. So, people were letting off fireworks last night and the dogs were upset. And we're not allowed to have fireworks in New South Wales, it's against the law. Oh, well, like, people can have them if they're done like professionally. Somebody sounds like they're a bit. Upset with their car, <laughs> they have the sound of this, and they goodness me. I'm doing a bit of fluffing. I do like it. I'm definitely a fan. You know what? I didn't. I don't know why, but I didn't go way over this this part here far enough, did I? I did not do that far enough. I guess it's hanging down. Look, look at that. It's hanging down that way. <laughs> or you can make it go that way. It's it's up to you. You know. I like it. I think that bit there's too long though. Get that off. It's on an angle. I did put it on there sideways. I don't know why, but I did. And I could pr probably come up here and put some more. Because I'm not letting that beat me. I'm going to have a piece more thread on that yet. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to put some more. A couple more. I don't know how come I come to do that. Carried away there. Talking. Not thinking about what I'm doing. I am thinking about what I'm doing. Don't worry about that. Thinking about too what I'm going to do. So... I need to spend more time in here, you know, with this. I really do, but I can't, I suppose. You know, I do about three, stay in here about three hours a day or something. It's more comfortable on my new chair, I must say, than what it was before. I've got a piece of that here somewhere. I think that's the right, oh, here it is. I don't know if there's enough on that. There could be. This is it, what I was using. There very well could be enough on here. We'll, we'll try it, eh? I would not. Now all I've got to do is come up underneath the back. This is going to be a bit tricky for a start, but we'll be right. We're not going to worry about it. We're not going to panic. Nobody's going to panic. I'm going to come up under here. Well, see, actually, the cotton is at where the edge of the felt is, but there's a bit of a gap there. See, that's why that's doing that. Okay, so maybe it's not wrong at all. Because that's a part of the thing. Just one or two stitches. So only just one or two stitches. Okay. So this is just um, 
going to be one. I'm going to go try to come up under here without. Can't see where we are. And stitch it down. It's just not going to have that extra stitch, maybe, as long as you fasten it down so it shouldn't come undone unless you somebody pulling at it. And I don't know if we allow that. We do our work, we shouldn't be allowing that. <laughs> Anybody's pulling at things. Probably needs a bit of a stem on it, too. I don't know yet. I could probably have time to do something and make it look more. Am I up to pulling it through or just doing a tucky bit? One more stitch, eh? We move one more loop. <laughs> okay. So I didn't pull that through all the way. I've got hold of it underneath my thumb here. I'm coming back up here. And I'm going to go over the top of it and hold it down. I hope I've got all this. I haven't. <laughs> I unthreaded my needle. I unthreaded my needle. Thank you, Yogi. Now, back down through there. It's a really nice day today, really nice, really nice day. Okay, so now I've got two pieces here from left over from the one before and that bit and I can tie them together. Okay, so they won't go anywhere. Right. Okay, so Denise North, please send me a email I think you want a piece of that piece of that rabbit material just can you please email me I feel really weird because I can't remember but I think you're the lady that I sent the book to and if I am can you just let me know what your, new, what your address is because I, I can go looking for it I don't know what I would have done with it I've got a book here somewhere but everything got put in different places, so I don't know. So if you want the, if you want a piece of a piece of that fabric with the little rabbit on it, can you let me know, please? It's only a tiny bit. I've got other things that I still haven't posted out, and I feel really bad. So I'm hoping everybody's going to forgive me. I haven't. There's nothing that I've sold, but I've I've got to just get on with it. I've, I've had um, there's been issues and things. And <clears throat> If it rained and then there's always something, there's always something, but anyway, I'll get there, I'll get there with it. Nobody panic. There's a lady waiting for a pattern, I'm having, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I am getting it to you, I promise. I promise I'm, I'll get it to you. I told you I wouldn't, I will. It's a little bit slow sometimes getting things done because, besides the fact that sometimes you've got that much to do, you forget anyway, so. It's something, all other things on your mind, and it's sort of, I don't know, I'm multi talented a bit to a degree, that's all. Okay, now I'm going to thread, uh, fluff through this a bit. And now I've got one of those. Oh, isn't that cute? That is, looks, that looks better, doesn't it? Okay, don't you think that looks better? Right. Now, do we need a thing on the top of it? <clears throat> It have some sort of thing where it joins onto the, um, you know. Now, my husband came in here with me yesterday, and he said, I said, can you get this book for me? And he went and he went to start taking it away. And I said, I don't want you to take it away. I said, I want you to get, leave it here. So he left them on the chair. They're behind me. Just get that. They're on another chair, the old chair, because it's behind me. Now... Sometimes some of us are really clever and we can imagine what things look like, but not necessarily everybody. 
one of them that could be me. So we need to have a some sort of a thing on the top of that. Uh, imagine you can do it whichever way you want to, Sonia. There's not going to be too many rules out there. I was going to show you some big books too, and I forgot to get, forgot to get them. I was pretty busy. I was a bit busy. Okay. Now. Okay. I'm just going to look in here for a minute. And decide what needs to go there. And I don't think there's anything that goes on that. Let me see. Well, there's a thistle. And he only has a stem on him, so picture there of a thistle. I think it might just do a little stem, eh? And I'm going to get out the green cotton, of course. Love the green cotton. And put a little stem on that because that might make it look it could be a little thistle, couldn't it? You know. It's plan. I'm going to do a whipped chain stitch for this. I think it'll be thick enough. I hope so. I don't want to make it too long. <clears throat> so I'm going to come up through the back here. Under the back, under this part. Okay. And you can make a line if you want to, of where you want to go with yours. Which way you want it to be. I'm just going to eyeball it. Just try and go back in through there. Come out there. Like so. I'll do one of the thistles on something else another day. It's not exactly the same as this. It's got that it's got this fluffy bit, but it's not exactly the same. I didn't want it to be straight. I'm sort of <laughs> going in a weird way about this, and I <laughs> probably and you don't want any. And I think I have any really sharp corners on the, on this on it. You know, you'd want it to try and make it so it's you know going through there nice and wavy. So <laughs> I don't know, not too many sharp corners. Okay, so now I'm going to go right down to the back, and now I'm going to come up near where I went out. When I went down, and I'm going to just put the needle back under every one of these stitches, okay, like that, and cross over and go like that, and go like this. It makes it a little bit higher, but not too much. You don't want to be too, I didn't want it to be too thick, okay, I want the stem to be too heavy. So we're going to do that like so. And when you're not looking, I might have to do a couple more, I don't know yet. Even if I do a tiny one there and a tiny one there or something, just so he'll have some friends, you know. <laughs> How's that look? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. Anyway, so that's that one. And we'll come back shortly and do another something, okay? So thank you everybody for watching. All stay safe now. Please leave me a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, you can donate to my channel if you want to. There's a button there you can press to help me with just a few little bits and pieces. Um, but anyway, so <coughs> there you go. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.